Yeah, Heritage Christian Fellowship has, has been through it. Starting with the lead pastor change. And then heading into a global pandemic. The World Health Organization has declared coronavirus a global pandemic. This is going to get worse. And then you have the tensions that have been so rife within our, our culture, racial tensions and now political tensions. We've got to fight back. And then in the middle of all that, fires sweep through this valley and just destroy hundreds of homes and create carnage for the people of the Rogue Valley and for the people of Heritage Christian Fellowship. As I think about Medford, as I think about Heritage Christian Fellowship, and I'm reminded of the words of Job uh, after he'd gone through just tremendous pain, tremendous loss. He tells God, God, I had occupied my mind with things that were far too wonderful for me. You were up to something and I couldn't understand it. In my pain, I couldn't understand, God, that you were doing something. And what he says is, I now despise myself. I sit in the repentance of dust and ashes. And I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, Lord, but now I've seen you with my eyes. And so that's been my prayer for the people of Heritage and the people of Medford. As they sit in dust and ashes, that they would say, God, I heard of you before, but now I've seen you. I think our church is in need of some new beginnings, some fresh starts. And that has to do with everything for the last year and, and what our church has gone through to have leadership to have vision, not to blow up everything the Lord's done here at Heritage already, but to honor what God's already done, but provide a leadership and, and a love for the people of Heritage that I think we've been needing bad for the last year. I was raised in, in the shadow of the Rocky Mountains. I grew up hiking, fishing, hunting, backpacking in these mountains, uh, and then I moved away. Uh, and so uh, I've been living out in the Midwest for almost 20 years, and my heart's desire have been to get back to the mountains. And I saw this position online for the senior pastor at Heritage Christian Fellowship. I, I saw the core values that were listed. And as when I saw the core values that my heart kind of leapt to life, I was like, wow, here's a church that describes herself as being gospel-centered. It describes itself as being a church that wants to see its people engage in authentic worship of sound doctrine and right biblical interpretation, missional focus and discipleship were core values. And as I saw them spelled out on the page of the website, I thought, oh my goodness, like the values of this church align so clearly with my intrinsic values. And then as I started looking at Medford, and this is where my dad was born, and, I, and I'm looking at this area, kind of thinking about my father's childhood, lo lo looking at the mountains and the outdoor recreation, and it's in the West, and it just seemed like all these different pieces that I've been yearning for and craving. There's a missional and doctrinal alignment, a cultural alignment, a core value alignment. It's an area that seemed like I, I could really fit and I would thrive, and so I applied. When you're looking at pastoral candidates, it's a really hard thing to do. You're looking for a guy who loves Jesus and is educated and can teach the Bible and is humble, but yet you're asking him to sell himself to us. And it's like, how do you find that? As far as the recruitment process, we were interviewing the guys via Zoom. And then the second round interview, we involved their wives. And we brought several of the candidates and their wives out here for valley tours, staff meetings, board meetings, and a couple of dinners to get them engaged in the area. We left dinner, and I just remember looking at Jesse in the car, and it was this overwhelming feeling of like, oh my goodness, could this couple actually come to Medford to pastor our church? No one's perfect, but it seemed like the right fit. And it almost seemed, like Mitch said, too good to be true that maybe this family would join us, that they would move their whole family and their life to be here and be a part of Heritage. When I first met Paul and Becky, I fell in love with them. I offered to serve the church by taking them on a tour of the valley and actually sharing our whole community with them. This was a guy that you could see was genuine, was real, and a guy that I would be willing to follow. And I think a lot of people in our church would see Jesus in him and say, wow, like I'm willing to go and follow this guy. From there, we, we finally made the decision on Paul and his family. When we first found out that Paul was coming, it was just pure excitement, could not wait. And I think the staff dynamic has shown that. I was jumping for joy. I just knew that the Lord had found the absolute perfect pastor and family for Heritage. I couldn't be more happy with this, this wonderful family. I just had a lot of peace in my heart, honestly. I felt at peace that this was right. It's really exciting. Super excited that, that God is leading us in a new direction. And my kids are excited, my wife is excited. My grandson can't tell me if he's excited yet or not, but I'm pretty sure Wilson's pretty stoked about Oregon also. In this next phase for Heritage, I am most excited about 
Paul's heart to make disciples. As I step into my role as pastor, my hope is to see Heritage to continue to be a place where people are identified, equipped, raised up, empowered, and then sent out to plant, to, to put their hands to the work that God would have them put their hands to. I really see myself really leading the charge when it comes to preaching the Word of God utilizing the gifted communicators that are already a part of the staff out there, but to collectively, as a preaching team, I want to lead that charge as we preach the Word of God to the people of God, as we uphold God's Word, as we speak forth the very words of God into the congregation. I want to get out of the way, and I want to preach God's Word to God's people and see what He can do in and through that. Everyone in our staff has so many giftings, and I think everyone's excited to join forces and work together to make our church as awesome as it can be. I mean, I look at the pastoral staff and I look at the, the ministry staff at Heritage. When I was out there interviewing, just amazingly gifted, godly people, just to build into the lives of these staff members, to provide space for them to serve as God would have them serve in accordance with how he's gifted them. I'm excited to be able to do that. If I could say one thing to Heritage today, it would be we want to be with you. We want to break bread with you. We want to sit in the ashes with you. We want to walk alongside you. We want to be a part of the body of Christ and we want to be integrated and engaged with the family at Heritage Christian Fellowship. And honestly, we just can't wait. We just can't wait to be a part of, of what God is doing in and through Heritage Christian Fellowship.